Hello, hi guys. I want to show you how to recover your hard drive uh, from external hard drive enclosure such as this. Uh, this is the Western Digital external enclosure. So what happened is I had two Western Digital external enclosure from way back a few years ago and none of them was booting as uh, I was testing 20 minutes ago and so the solution to it, uh, it could be either the hardware that broke inside, which is, looks something like this. That's what Western Digital have inside the enclosure. So it could be the hardware that broke, which there are way to fix it. If you really want the data out of it, I will make another video eventually to show you how to take it apart and replace the disk and silicon disk inside or the pin head or the motor. But today's video is really just the external enclosure. Um, how to retrieve the hard drive, and once you retrieve the hard drive, you can get another. Um, well, this one. This is like a laptop uh, hard drive dot. You could just plug in a SATA drive and get your data up that way. So basically, my guess is because whatever that's on the external enclosure on this, it's probably a capacitor or something broke over time due to heat or just it was designed to break. Um, so once you get the hard drive out, if the hard drive was not broken, hopefully, you can get the data out of from an external dock system for the hard drive. These are pretty cheap. These are like $20, $30. You can get it from Amazon. Um, okay, so in this case, I already opened this like 20 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. So I know this one works, the hard drive inside works, and the plug-in and the system on this external enclosure uh, from Western Digital, basically the external hard drive enclosure doesn't work. Uh, I, I think that's a problem, otherwise it wouldn't boot it on its own. It wouldn't need me to somehow get the hard drive out of the way. Okay, so this video is basically showing you how to get it out. Uh, how to get the hard drive out. These are the screws that also belongs in here. I didn't put it back because I figured I'm going to take it apart anyway. So to stop this, uh, it's very simple. There's actually no glue on this model. You just need uh, any credit card. Um, this is a gift card, used gift card. So what you do is, um, so you just pick up the corner, and usually in the middle is best, and just pry it up. Since there's no glue, everything is in a click mechanism. So you just need to get it to click. And do that on all four sides. Got that. So there's a click, and just be patient. Um, if you intend to put it back, then you need to be more gentle, um, without actually damaging the plastic. Like it's not the worst thing if you damage the plastic, but all right. So we just pry it up. And you do that on both sides. It's harder to do this while it's being recorded. Ah, there we go. So you can find a weak spot. Get the credit card in. There we go. This is a good spot to start. And. Try not to do that. Um, if you do this between your, like on your legs, then it will help to stabilize the hard drive so it doesn't slip over the place. Since I'm trying to record this, I can't do that. Um, right, there we go. Okay, once you get the both sides open, you could just like slide this to this one click over here. Alright. Then on this side let's click, you see? And on the other side as well, so you want to slide your credit card through it. There we go. Universal access card. Alright, so you just open it like this way, as such. It's a sliding mechanism. And then you see this is a 500 gigabytes hard drive. Um, this particular Western Digital hard drive design doesn't have any screws to retain the hard drive. Some other ones do, like this one. Um, this is the older generation that I took apart. 
Unfortunately, the first one, the drive inside, is the drive that's bad, so um, the data I couldn't recover. But this drive is good. Um, then I find out I, I really don't have much data I want on it, so I end up just format the drive. <laughs> but I said, at least I get a free hard drive out of it, so otherwise you lose the drive. So basically, um, there, there was four legs, and it just come right out from the plastic piece. And there was one, like these screws, one, two, three, four inside, one screw is inside the enclosure. Uh, you want to get all of them out, but leave one in, otherwise the hard drive will fall off. And you want to get this heat sink shield out of the case, so just get these two screws out. And then you slide it, as you can see, the hard drive, the plugging is here, something in here, so you slide it upward. Okay. Should I just take this? Yeah, you slide it upward and then take the whole piece off. Uh, this is this is it. This is the board that's in control of everything. Um, and this is the part that's broken. I'm guessing it's probably one of the capacitors back because everything else is surface mount. Unless it's um I really don't know anything else could go bad because it, it did receive power and it just wouldn't receive signals. I'm guessing it's probably capacitors. As that's the only weak link I can see on the board. Everything else is surface mount, so it's hard to tell without microscope and testing. But it doesn't really matter. This this part is cheap. Um you don't even need it. You just need to get the external and uh Alright. Hard drive is what we want, right? So do this out. You do soldering practice with it, and then you take all the screws out. Remember, I told you there was one screw that was hiding here. Um, I don't want to, I don't know. Most manufacturers like to design their drive that way, they make it very hard to take apart. Uh, there's always one screw hiding, but the general concept is pretty much the same take all the screws out. Any screw you can see, take it out. If you can't move any certain part, it just means that there was a screw hiding. Sometimes on the plastic, on the, uh, in this case it's on the heat sink, and uh, it's on the metal shield and the board, so it's just hiding somewhere. Um, after that, you can take anything. So, basically, simple concept take all the screw out. Okay, so this is the hard drive, um, that's it. Once you retrieve the hard drive, um, like I said, you can get external dock connector dock thing and you plug it in to USB to your computer and you plug in the power and you turn on the power uh, well, like paper wouldn't reach I'll just get right here and then you turn on the power and then it blinks, drive spins and I pick up data and everything is good um, it's yep. So once you're done, so that's my computer making the sound that it's detecting this hard drive. Let me just turn this off. All right. So once you're done, you got yourself a free. Well, you savage yourself a hard drive, and more importantly, uh, your personal information, whatever you need to recover from your hard drive. Uh, I wouldn't put anything back with this because this thing I know is broken. But in in the event that if your hard drive that broke because you plug it in and nothing works you can keep this and plug in another hard drive let's say from a Samsung or whatever uh, you could plug it in to another hard drive and you got yourself a free external board you just need to plug in power and USB then you can retrieve the data from this other drive even though this one's broken. And if you still want to retrieve the data out of a broken drive, for example, this one, this is also was in digital, it's an older generation, which came out of this enclosure. Um, this right now is just a piece of plastic. Uh, I'm, I'm intend to put stuff in there, but it's a nice uh, hiding place for valuable goods on the bookshelf. Well, actually, I should, I should probably shouldn't put my stuff inside a hard drive. Hmm. That's, that's also a good idea. You know you can open this and then 
hollow it out and put you know money inside and close it. That's a good place to hide your money. But anyway, um, so yeah, so in this case the draw is bad. It makes him the clicking noise. So the board that's inside this external enclosure is good. I could keep that and use it on my other hard drives. However, this hard drive, if I really want to get that information now, what I could do is I could buy an exact same replica of the hard drive and then very carefully change, I'm guessing the pen is probably broken in this one because it's making the clicking noise. So I could change the pen, um, I could change the motor, and I can also change the circuit board. Um, at least it's either one of those that's broken. So it's just um, the day that this, it's usually still good, always. But it just, all right, I'll make another video of that, but more on that later. Okay, thank you for watching. So this is how you salvage hard drive out of Boston Digital external enclosure that goes out of service. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this is junk now. Um, if you want to see what's on the board, this is actually a newer, newer design. The older design that came out of the other enclosure looks like this, as you can see. The board, I didn't even bother to take it out. It's inside here and it looks with all the parts like bigger and it has all the parts. It has a uh, accelerator board and the older generation has a funny um, IDE cable for power. And unusual, it's very unusual to have a IDE power cable and uh, SATA data connector. So this hard drive, which is the bad one, the drive is bad. Um, it's really weird because it was designed with SATA data connector and SATA power connector. However, it has an IDE, like accelerator power connector for just for this design. Um, I guess this hard drive came out at around the same time when I was doing the switch between IDE and SATA. And Watson Digital already made this board, so they they figured they could just make a hot drive that can be powered by, I, I don't know, I don't know what the story was, but that's what I mean, I drink. Cause I bought this like a, a long time ago, probably 2005, like when I set a cable first came out. Okay, and that's it. I got my hot drive, I'm happy. I have an extra 500 gigabytes hot drive and got some of the file that I want from it. Not a lot, I think most of the file I want is inside here. Not this hard drive since I only I have two external like uh external hard drives and I have some information I want to get out of it but I can't. Uh, it's inside here now and I need to magically magically recover the data from this. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.